I'm just going to go ahead and say it. Hogwarts Legacy has been a blast to play thus far. And in this video, we're going to talk about the best parts. What's going on, guys? Steven with Level Up MMO. And as I said in the introduction, this video is going to be over what I deem to be the best parts of Hogwarts Legacy after putting in quite a few hours. With that being said, if you like Hogwarts Legacy and gaming content, make sure you subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's talk about the best parts of Hogwarts Legacy. The first thing I'm going to mention is the environment. Oh my goodness, the environment. I'm talking about every little thing, not just graphically, although places like the Forbidden Forest look absolutely phenomenal, especially if you turn your graphics up to like Ultra, the detail in the foliage and the things flying around and the different creatures, it's fantastic. But just the detail and so many different places in the game and just the nooks and crannies of the castle hogs I mean, all these places the environment is phenomenal in this game i love it and then the next thing is actually that i was pleasantly surprised by the combat i think a lot of us were skeptical at first just not knowing exactly how intricate the combat system would be or how much fun it would be but after playing it and doing a lot of different things with it fighting different creatures and, and different wizards and witches it has been a lot of fun i still think it could probably be slightly more difficult even on normal which is what i'm doing my first playthrough on but overall there's a lot of different things you can do and then scrolling through and comboing with the right spells and things like that makes it a pretty good time moving into the next point that is going to be progression there is so much progression in hogwarts legacy it is actually kind of hard to keep up with you have all the different cosmetics you can get constant gear upgrades then you have learning new spells then when you unlock the new spells you unlock different little puzzles around the castle before you get confringo for instance you actually can't do some of the puzzles they're just not open to you because you need the spell to do it the same as with the pulso there are certain areas in the map that you might come across and you're like oh i can't get through here because you haven't progressed with that spell which unlocks new things that you can interact with in the world overall there is a ton of achievements in the game tons of things to collect combat things to unlock it is a lot of content so there's plenty for everybody to do moving on we have to talk about the callbacks and familiarity i mean just being around hogwarts castle and going to the different locations and just being like i've seen this before this is exactly what i expected it to be or it has even more detail to it it's phenomenal i just think about all the different places i've been in this game so far and there's still so many more to explore where i and just left smiling and just being like oh wow this is the staircase this is the great hall there's you know all these areas where I'm just like blown away and just taken back to that nostalgia from my childhood and then of course there's the callbacks to the names right you have people from the black lineage being referenced or talked about or seen in the game you also have Weasleys there for all to see with that red hair there's just a lot of those as well which just makes you feel a little bit at home and the last thing I want to cover is that there's a lot of depth to the story and character interactions each character seems to have their own very unique personality that they stick with there is some character progression with some people the story has tons of animated scenes cut scenes things that just make you feel immersed in the game tons of good dialogue voice acting it's just all around really well done and i'm looking forward to completing the storyline i am actually interested in what's happening and that's going to wrap up what I think are the best parts of Hogwarts Legacy. I'd love to know what you think, so let me know in the comments below what parts you are enjoying the most. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. As I said earlier, please consider subscribing to the channel. You can always come chat with me live at twitch.tv slash heartbreaker underscore TV. And if you want to support me directly in the best way here on YouTube, you can click the join button down below to become a member. And of course, until next time, good luck in your adventures.